Today, you are going to be making one of these, except yours is going to have real nutrient agar, minus pretend. The idea of this is that you can grow microbes in here. The agar is jelly, covered in food for microbes to grow on. One thing you don't want to do is this, because you're going to get microbes falling into here from the air. Whenever you need to open your plate, either do it yourself or get someone else to hold the lid up like this. It means you can access it, but dust should not be falling in. Because we want to be sampling bacteria in particular from various sites around so that we're growing those and we know where they came from. Some time ago, people realized that good old fashioned sellotape was made at a high temperature, wrapped at a high temperature, and so was effectively sterile. Enough for our purposes anyway. So in order to sample, we're going to use this. We don't want your hand touching the agar plate. You'll infect it with bacteria from your hands, and we don't want that. Your hands may well be carrying diseases. One of the rules about this is that we don't sample the human body. Now the way we sample is we take sellotape, never been touched before, and use that to sample. Now, that piece there only ever touched the bench. I bring over my agar plate, lift the lid like this, and touch it on the jelly. I am not digging it in. Just touching it gently, I won't see a thing. But I now know this corner has a sample from the bench. I'll turn it over and write lab bench here. Your job today is to do that for four different samples recording what it is for each one. Don't record on the lid, the lid turns. And your last job is to seal this. The agar works well, it's got food for the bacteria and it's moist. If we leave it sitting here for a few days, it'll dry out, the bacteria will die, you end up with nothing. So your job is to seal the plate well. End result, Back nutrient agar, food for the bacteria that's moist. Bacteria colonies in four areas, though we don't know what's growing, can't see anything yet, and it's sealed. The last thing is you turn it upside down, jelly side up, and leave it where you're asked to for a few days for your bacteria culture to grow.